Welcome to the Big Three Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. Let's talk some running backs, and let's start out with the number of 56. It's the number of offensive plays the Niners ran in Week 12. You know how many times Sean Braun was on the field? 56 times. He played every snap for the Niners. That rarely happens in this day and age in the NFL, and it speaks to just how devoid of talent the Niners are on the backfield. Now, Drawn has looked pretty good. Got to give him some credit there. Totally has. Um, he's averaging about six catches the three games he's been with the Niners, averaging about 14 carries in those three games. Hasn't got to the end zone yet, not producing big yards, but when you're talking about a guy who's averaging 19, 20 touches a week, he is someone you can start with good confidence as a running back too. That's where Sean Braun is. We don't know how long Carlos Hyde is going to be out with that foot. We're still waiting. We still get this oh, week-to-week kind of thing. It could be the rest of the season. He could be back in week 13. But right now, Sean Braun is doing a very good job taking all the work in the Niners backfield and being productive, not on a per-touch basis, but in total because of the workload. The next number of the day is five. That is the number of games in which C.J. Anderson, the guy no one wants, C.J. Anderson has averaged 4.5 yards or better in a row. Each of the last five games said 4.5 yards a carry or better. In that five-game span, you know how many times Ronnie Hillman has reached that 4.5 mark? One time. So why is it that Hillman keeps getting the work? Why is it that despite averaging 6.32 yards a carry the last five games? That's stupendous, Mark. C.J. Anderson only has 50 carries in that time? That's a very good question. Now, it might all be changing finally after the performance in Week 12 against the Patriots. Anderson caught four passes for 40 yards. He also carried the ball 15 times for 113 yards and two touchdowns, including the game-winning run, that long scamper against the Patriots. I think it's time that the Patriots, I mean, excuse me, the Broncos admit what's going on here in their backfield, that Ronnie Hill was a nice complimentary player, but he's not the lead guy that C.D. Anderson has been outperforming him for a solid month plus now, and that it's time to get C.D. Anderson more involved. Maybe we'll see a strong finish like we did last year out of the running back with the Broncos. And then the final number of the day is 28, as the number of carries the last two weeks of Amir Abdullah. Now, there's a couple of big problems for Abdullah. Number one, Joyce Bell still has 13 carries the last two weeks. He's taken away work on the ground. Theo Riddick has been excellent as a pass catcher. He's seen five receptions in each of the last two games and has been there all season. So we have Bell handling the work on the ground with Abdullah, and we have Riddick handling third down work. So can Amir Abdullah do better than 28 carries, uh, touches, uh, carries in two weeks? Can he do better than 14 carries a week? Probably not in the offense the way it's constructed now. Maybe, but probably not. Uh, he's not getting in the end zone. He's not fumbling either, which is a very good sign. However, he's not even averaging four yards a carry uh, the last couple of weeks. So despite the talent, despite what everyone wanted to believe would happen this season, it's not going to happen this year for Amir Abdullah. Still could have a decent finish. He's gaining the confidence of the coaching staff. He's holding on to the football, and he's seeing more work than he has at any point in this season. His star is on the rise, but you still have to look at him and think nothing more than a flex option without that third down work of potentially losing goal line touches to Joyke Bell. Ray Flowers, Big 3, Fantasy Alarm TV. Don't forget to visit us, FantasyAlarm.com. We'll hope you out with fantasy football, fantasy basketball, and we're even getting ready for fantasy baseball. It's true, folks. We're already doing that.